Hello and Tesla everyone, welcome to class 12 biology. In this video, we are going to discuss about extraction of DNA from plant materials. If you look in your class 12 biology practical syllabus, it is the sixth experiment in the list. It says, isolate DNA from available plant materials such as spinach, green pea seeds, papaya, etc. So you can extract DNA from any of the plant materials. You can take fruit, you can take seeds, you can take leaves, you can take any plant material and you can try to extract the DNA out of that. Now, before we start discussing about the procedure of this particular experiment, let us look at the materials required. We need mortar and pestle, salt or sodium chloride, we need liquid dish soap, fresh pineapple juice and most importantly we need chilled ethanol. Chilled ethanol is very cold ethanol, ethanol which is kept in refrigerator. And then we need some glassware such as beaker, test tubes with test tube stand, measuring cylinder, glass funnel, and then we need filter paper and water bath. So it is an electronic device. Water bath is an electronic device which keeps temperature constant for an experimental setup by heating our water to certain temperature. Okay, so this is water bath. And obviously we need plant material from which we want to extract the DNA. Now, in the first step of the experiment, you have to prepare the extraction solution or the extraction buffer. So extraction solution contains 10 ml of liquid uh, detergent or liquid dish soap. Then we take uh, 3 grams of salt and 90 ml of water. So you mix these components and you get the extraction solution. And then, second step, you need to grind the plant material from which we want to extract the DNA. So you should grind the plant material to pulp with the help of mortar and pestle. So you, let's say if you are if you are trying to extract DNA from banana, you cut the banana into small pieces and you grind it into a pulp. So that is the second step. After obtaining the pulp, you mix the pulp and the extraction solution that you have prepared in a large beaker and keep that in a water bath at around 60 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. So you mix the pulp and the extraction solution in a beaker and then you put the beaker in the water bath at 60 degrees centigrade for about 15 minutes. And then you let it cool for 5 minutes and then you, put, uh, you filter the mixture to collect the filtrate. So you have to filter the mixture of the pulp and the extraction solution which, which you have mixed and kept it for 15 minutes right in the water bath and then you cool it and then you filter it to obtain the filtrate so you have to obtain the filtrate and after that in the test tube you take about 5 ml of the filtrate and add about 1 milliliter of fresh pineapple juice keep the mixture for about 3 minutes okay and then after uh, 3 minutes, you add 5 ml of chilled ethanol from the side of the test tube so that you do not disturb the mixture. So that you get two layers. You get the fruit layer and then you get the chilled ethanol layer. Okay, so you add about 5 ml of chilled ethanol from the sides of the test tube gently and let the test tube stand for about 5 minutes and then you observe. So what you will observe is after adding chilled ethanol, as the time goes by, something starts to precipitate out of the fruit mixture. Right? This something, this mucus-like, thread-like things, they are nothing but the DNA. So DNA starts precipitating after addition of chilled ethanol. And then only thing left to do is you have to take a glass rod and take out the DNA. That is called as spooling. You have studied that in your theory class, right? So, uh, you, when you try to pick out the DNA from the mixture with the help of a glass rod, it is called as spooling. So, this mucus like thing is nothing but pure DNA. Okay, so it does not contain proteins, it does not contain uh, any other uh, biomolecules. So it is supposed to be pure DNA. Okay, so this is the experimental procedure. I hope you're clear how to extract DNA from plant materials. Okay, thank you.